sleep well, princess, said Melody, sliding the stall door closed. I will see you in the morning. Melody dropped a handful of carrots in princess's bucket and stepped down the barn aisle. Princess nosed the bucket and half in distress. Why, oh why does she give me carrots? Princess snorted. She poured the ground. Doesn't she know cats like tuna or cheese? But every day, it is the same. Carrots, carrots, carrots. Princess continued. Sebastian, the big draft horse, sniffed through the stall bars. What do you want? asked Princess. Seb's big brown eyes started to her bucket. Oh yes, of course, said Princess the carrots. Princess picked up the carrot with her teeth and pushed them through the stall bars. Here you go, Seb. I know how much horses like carrots. I, on the other hand, want something fitted on feline's fondness. Seb looked Princess up and down. Nope, she hadn't changed. She was still the same perfect Palomino pony she always was. Tonight, Melody had brushed and braided Princess Mane. She had added a bright pink bow. Princess hooves had been painted with sparkly polish. Every horse knew that Princess was the most spoiled horse in the barn. But Princess didn't seem to care. When she was a newborn foal, her mother had died. A stray cat came into her stall and had kittens. To this day, Princess truly and mistakably 100% believed she was a cat. Seb crunched on the terrace and watched Princess lick her legs with a long, hoarse tongue. I hope I don't get a furball tonight, said Princess. I just hate that. Seb didn't say anything. He never tried to talk Princess out of her crazy delusion. After all, he always got her carrots. Besides, Seb was not one that criticized other horses. Deep inside, he knew all horses had special secret dreams. And well, if Princess wanted to believe she was a cat, that was her business. Princess poured the ground again. Let me out, she said. A barn cat must hunt at night. Princess kicked the stall. She meowed very loudly. Well, she thought she meowed, but to all ears, it came out as a whinny. Tony, the barn manager, hollered from Snowy's stall. Settle down, princess, I'm coming. She rode the wheelbarrow full of hay down the aisle towards princess. Hey, again? How disgusting, thought princess. If I don't get out of here again tonight, I will not be able to hunt, and I will be forced to eat that dried old stuff just to survive. Oh, the shame, the humiliation, a cat eating hay. Wait a minute, I am a cat. Cats are sneaky. Perhaps I can just sneak right out of the stall when Tony opens my door. Here she comes, Princess Pot in excitement. Yes, Princess, said Tony. I won't forget you. Princess nuzzled Tony with her head. When she tried to push her away, but Tony was too fast and too experienced with horses to let her slip by. Oh, no you don't, said Tony, pushing her back in. Eat your hay like a good girl. You have a show tomorrow. She patted her on the neck. Tony put the wheelbarrow away and shut off the lights. Good night, she called. See you in the morning. Several of the horses neighed good night, but not princess.